will be presenting today on the effects of attendance on the performance of day and evening students. And this study is somewhat dear to me, so I hope it will add, you know, to somebody's practice. The group that we focused on for this study was a group of students who would have studied in the first semester um, Introduction to Management um, 2015, so semester one 2015, and we chose one class and everybody who was in a section for that class, there were 139 students, we chose them, we chose those students and all the students that we took were considered for this study, right? So grade reports reveal for that group that the evening students scored a grade higher than the students that were registered for the day section. And one of the things that came out of it was that lecturers said that generally the day students were more likely to be absent from classes. All right, so we looked at various studies that looked at attendance policy and attendance and how it affects student performance and found that um, predominantly all of them said students attending classes will impact the scores that they gain so that students who attend more classes generally score better than those who don't, right? Now, in those findings, based on what would have found from the other research, you would have looked and said, you know, it makes sense for us to enforce our current policy because if it is that we can get the students to come and go to more classes, it means that their grades will be higher. But it brought into question other things. Like, you know, there are researchers that look at it and say, well, you're dealing with adult students. And adults don't take to rules as you would with a primary or high school students because I'm paying for my own education, and which is the case for most of the evening students. Why is it that you're going to force me and tell me that I have to attend classes? Adults want to go and do things on their own free will, and that's how we determine. Uh, that was how the theory that we use was determined, and we use Malcolm Knowles' theory of... Um, his assumption that adults are self-directed, and we look further into that. So basically, based on the results that students were scoring higher who attended more classes, it was rather, do we enforce or do we not enforce? The policy that we currently have at the institution would be a mandatory policy. Any policy that says if you do not do something, you, there's a repercussion or there's some form of punishment is generally considered a mandatory policy. So there are arguments for a mandatory policy. Some of them are students are more likely to miss classes when there are no consequences. That's one of the first one. And if you force students to attend classes, it will reduce the loss of their tuition because they will be getting their money's worth. So arguments now that are against a mandatory policy. So if we were to enforce the current policy, it would be viewed as we are, treat, we are treating our students as children then. Because you cannot tell me, I'm an adult, right? And I have children, I have a husband, I have a business or I have a job, and something can happen. Different things may happen that might cause me not to be in classes. Why is it that I should be penalized for something that I paid for but did not utilize. So we found studies that supported that prospect as well, right? So adults are self-directed even in other directed situations. That's the last one. And what we mean by that is that even if you set up a rule, an adult will decide whether or not they're going to honor it. So as an institution, it's something that you have to consider in putting policies in place. So. The purpose of this study was to examine the relationship with attendance and performance. And we looked at two groups, day and evening students, but then we looked at the implications for policy based on the results of the study. Um, I'll just use the first research question. There was five of them. Um, what is the relationship between attendance and performance for day and evening students? And uh, yeah, and we looked at in the study, generally, studies, who, studies that looked at this type of research, research um, actually promoted that you needed to control for prior performance of students. What do I mean by prior performance? How did they do before entering a particular class? So what we found was because this was a first semester, first year course, 
um, the prior performance of those students would have been their matriculation information. So the C set that they came in with, and so we looked at it in two groups, those who fully matriculated and those who did not meet full matriculation. <laughs>